Let's collect the best pieces we can carry out of here and then go. I'd say this is our way back. How long to get back? If we're unlucky, maybe a week. And if we're lucky, we stumble over Bartrand's corpse on the way. <laughs> This part of the Deep Roads looks familiar. We're back where we started. And in only five days. Not bad, eh? Could we... slow down? I'm not feeling very well. I think all our stomachs are a bit tender right now. <laughs> I'll wager it was those deep mushrooms we found. No. <gasps> Bethany! Oh, Maker, no. It's the blight, isn't it? I'll end up just like Wesley, won't I? There must be some other way. I'm not going to last until the surface. <sighs> it's coming up faster. There isn't anything we can do. Not down here. take care of it, won't you, brother? How can I kill my own sister? Because she's asking you to. It's just you now. Take care of mother. Sweet home. Finally. Oh, I wonder if Bartrand came back to the city. You think I'd be that lucky? Just make sure you let me know when you find him. Trust me, you'll be the first to know. I'm sorry about what happened to your sister. I should have seen Bartrand's betrayal coming. I'll find that maggot if it's the last thing I do. I imagine you'll be heading home to... Uh, Tell the family. I don't have much choice. He'll be a wealthy man, Hawk. It wasn't all for nothing. Oh, my baby. You made it home. Bethany isn't with you. No. Is she coming back? I'm sorry. So the champion was responsible for his sister's death. Yes, but that's not the connection you're looking for. Isn't it? Guilt makes for the perfect motivation. And the champion's companions, Meryl, Aveline, that warden, Anders. Don't remind me. I introduced them. We thought they all came from Ferelden together, but now it makes sense. Motive and opportunity. It's still not what you think. Then I need to hear more. Unless you've already decided. I can always go if you don't need me anymore. Tell me what came next. The treasure we found in the deep roads made us a fortune. The champion moved up in the world. Literally. Bought a mansion in Hightown. Everyone knew who he was now. Even the Viscount was taking notice. I felt responsible for Bethany's death. She was a good girl, and met a bad end. Three years later, the Kunari still had the plan. The Kunari insisted they were waiting for their ship. But some of us knew better.
compound was not meant to be permanent. There are concerns the Kunari influence is no longer contained. Was it ever? Kirkwall has tension enough between Templar and Mage, but these Kunari, they sit like gargoyles waiting for Maker knows what and everyone goes mad around them. Nearly four years I've stood between fanatics. And now, this. Don't keep us in suspense. Leave us. Meredith at my throat, Orsino at my heels, and a city scared of heretical giants. Balance has held because the Conari ask for nothing. Even the space in Lowtown was a gift to contain them. But now, the Arishok has requested you. By name. What did you do? I can't help it if I make an impression. Apparently not. I remember how you helped my son. It seems you are meant to have influence above your station. Speak to the Arishok. Give him what he needs to keep the peace. Can you do that for Kirkwall, Sir Arhawk? I've seen hate for them, but I haven't heard anything major in years. Zealots are bravest where their lies can't be argued. Behind closed doors. Chantry leaders see Konari beliefs as a challenge, not an attack. But the message gets muddled among casual adherents. I'm certainly not equipped to argue the fine points of faith. Have the years been kind to Seamus? Well, he is his own man. But your actions tempered him somewhat. He's not so angry at the world. I thank you for that. I may not agree with him on many things, but uh, I am proud of what he is becoming. The Canari usually arrive as conquerors. Odd that this has gone on so long. Very, and I have no interest in antagonizing them. That is partially why I suffer being a messenger today. A treaty exists, and it has been honored. Although... Uh, you have doubts. They claim they're waiting for a second ship. But it has been three years. They want something else. Sounds like you'd be better off without this headache. They will not leave, and we don't have the resources to force the issue. At least, not in a way that would leave the city intact. If they had come to conquer, I suspect they would have done so. Any idea what I can expect? None. Honestly, I don't think I've heard two direct words from the Arishok. Other than his rather deliberate phrasing of... Begone. If you think he's asking me to notify you of this is strange... Well, you would be right. I am always willing to assist. Well, that is an attitude this city has lacked for a long time. Appease the Arishok. Take his demand and let him return to dormancy. As awkward as this has been, it is better than the alternative. Stepping down is looking more and more appealing. Good day, Sarah. Not going to happen. Make what a mess. Good day, Sir Arthur. for you, Messiah. If only you humans didn't all look the same. I was called to the keep on important business, Bodan. Yes. 
I was hoping to catch you before you arrived. I came to deliver this to you, the last of the proceeds from all that treasure you found in the deep roads. It seems your friend Varric found a buyer after all, yes? Quite well done. I can put this to good use. Of course. Always happy to help. Uh, before I go, may I simply say how grateful I am that you've allowed my boy to stay in your home. I said I would repay you for saving Sandal's life, and I shall serve you faithfully. It is good to know he is safe. Let me guess. This was Mother's idea? <laughs> As you say, yes. I'll leave you to your adventures. Your mother asks that you return to the mansion when you have a chance. <laughs>